share with everybody though. I remember I started to learn about the power of visualization. I don't know if Cass, if you did this in high school, but um, your senior class goes to Disney. Mm, no. Nope. And okay, well, we, it was like a senior trip thing, and you go, you go to D to Disney World. And I remember we went to Disney World for the week right before the start of my senior season in high school. This was in 2008, and I remember on the plane ride back. I had a window seat and I was reading the book, The Mental Game of Baseball. Mm. And I remember that was the first time that I, uh, and I had success up to that point, but that was the first time that I learned about visualization and I applied that to my senior season and went out and obviously had a great year. But um, that was when I first learned in 2008 about the power of visualization for athletes. And sometimes athletes learn this way too late as I did. And today we're going to discuss the types because there are different things and different elements of visualization that you can do as an athlete that could help your own field performance and then just kind of getting into that routine as well, doing it pregame. Because when you think about visualization, it's such a unique tool and it's something that could really help you. But a lot of athletes, I don't think, and coaches for that matter, don't really know where to start when it comes to that power of visualization and how to get their athletes to do such. For sure. And, you know, funny enough, my first exposure was actually not even in the softball world. Um, it was hearing about Michael Phelps and hearing about how his coach used to just say, uh, you know, Michael put the put the tape in because he used to just lay down at at night and just just think about all these different possibilities. And it made me realize I was like, wait a second, I feel like I've done that before, but I didn't really realize I was visualizing. So I think once you realize, hey, hang on, it's almost like this daydream state, right? It's almost like this ability to just put yourself in situations in your mind and, and have a little bit more control over some of the emotions you might start to feel in a game, uh, start to get exposed to them sooner rather than later. Then all of a sudden you get in a game and it's, you almost feel like you've experienced it before. It's not a, it's not a shock when something happens in competition. So it is an immensely to me powerful tool. And I think, uh, it's certainly, it's one of those things that I think it's brushed to the side a little bit because again, it's not tangible. It's not it sets and reps. It's not, Oh, okay. I'm going to do this for 30 minutes and I know it's going to work. It's, it's a lot of hard work of realizing, did I get into it? Did I, did I start to feel something here? It's 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 difficult to do for sure. 